installed space. If you're wondering how my view is so high on my Christmas tree and why my camera isn't wobbling, that's because, well, today I'm doing a Christmas haul and one of the wonderful things I got was a tripod. It is absolutely awesome. I can adjust it to be higher and lower. And see? Fanciness. So yeah, I think I'm going to start off by showing you what I got on Christmas Eve because you know, Christmas Eve comes before Christmas Day. These are all presents from my grandma, by the way, so I'd like to give a huge thank you to her. Also, please know that this video is not in any way bragging at all. It's just showing you what I got because I always love watching other people's haul videos. So the first thing I have here is a mini Mary Ellen. I'm gonna take her out of the box. Here she is. She is so pretty. I'll also take the rubber band out of her hair. I've actually never owned an American Girl mini, so this is she is and she is so cute I'll have to take some pictures of her I have tried a bit of mini doll photography with my mini our generation dolls in the past and of course here is her tiny book as well which is absolutely adorable next up is Tinny's picnic set I've been wanting this for a long time so let's get it out of the box and I'm not gonna lie guys, I already took everything out of the plastic because I was curious, but I'll show you each item inside anyways. Here is the picnic blanket. And it is double sided, so it is so cute. Here we have all of the food. There is a menu, which actually has stuff on the inside. Then there's a napkin, which is actually cloth. This watermelon, which is textured, so it is really cute. And then of course they included a fork. I absolutely love American Girl brand forks because they feel like actual forks. Like they're not cheap plastic or anything. And then on the other side of this adorable little food carrier, we have probably my favorite item, which is the sweet tea. As you can see, it's in a little mason jar with a straw. And I just realized the lemon, but you can see the ice and everything. So yeah, I absolutely love that item. And then last up in the little food carrier is this adorable and super realistic potato salad. And the very last thing included in this set is the chicken. It's on some bread, and I believe those are pickles on top. I don't know, though, because I don't eat chicken. And then there's this little tray as well, which is such good quality, even though it is paper. Next up, we have two sets of doll clothes, both of which I have not opened yet. Here are some mix and match leggings. There's a blue pair and then a stripy rainbow pair. That is loud. Oof. I expected these to be really thin, almost like tights, but they are a lot thicker and nicer than I thought they would be. And these are going to be absolutely adorable to put on my dolls. Last but not least, in terms of um, Christmas Eve items, I have Tinny's picnic outfit to go with her picnic set. I've been eyeing this outfit for so long, especially the lacy shorts. I think those are my favorite part of the outfit. So yeah, I'm just going to get out of the box. This is another thing I have not unpackaged at all because well it's kind of hard to get an outfit back into packaging okay I got everything out here are the shoes they are absolutely adorable I love most of the shoes in Tanya's collection because you can use them with a lot of outfits 
They're very plain, simple, and cute. And then here are the shorts. They are just as cute as I expected. And the really nice thing is they have multiple layers because of, well, the fact that there's lace on the top. So yeah, they're really cute. Oh wait, and also they have Velcro in the front. I didn't know that, that's helpful. Last but not least is this adorable shirt. I was expecting it to be like really bulky, but it's actually pretty light and I appreciate that. I also appreciate that this is an actual pocket. Good job, American girl. And just so you know, these buttons are not real. It is Velcro. Now we have moved into the Christmas day items. I'm going to start out by showing you this adorable little doll dress. It says, the future is me. It is so cute and so spring slash summery. I love it so much. And I also got one in my size because I am still a little child who wants to match with her dolls. Next up, we have this super duper fuzzy jacket. It even has a little pocket right here. Um, I actually got a fuzzy jacket from my friend for Christmas as well, but this one is a bit more lightweight, so when it's not quite as cold, this will be absolutely perfect to wear. A lot of the items I got for Christmas this year are dance themed, like these really nice canvas ballet shoes. I'm not a huge fan of the ballet shoes I have right now, so these will be so awesome. Also, a lot of the items I got this year are clothes because I'm potentially going to a school next year with no uniforms whereas I've had uniforms all my life. So there's this adorable Girls Are Awesome shirt, and it is cold shoulder. The material is just so soft, and I love it. I also got two leotards. They're both black because that's all that I'm allowed to wear to dance. But here's the first one. It is really cute, you can see the mesh in the back and this one is spaghetti strap I prefer having either spaghetti strap or like tank top strap leotards because they're just more comfortable next up is this tank top strap one it is very simple nothing too intricate about it but it's still really cute and I definitely need more black leotards some more clothing items for dance I've been talking about I've been talking about this to my mom so I finally got one it's a little ballet sweater so it just go goes over your leotard for when it's a little cooler and you're in class also there are some super duper soft I'm sorry I just stepped on the tripod Ooh. There are some super duper soft dance leggings. They're really stretchy too. There's also another pair of leggings. These are more like athletic leggings as opposed to really soft ones. And they're really cute because of these little details on the sides. I also got this like black shirt to wear over my leotard. It's meant for exercising and everything. So again, this will be really good for when it's colder and I'm at dance. And here is my very last dance item. My mom saw this at a craft fair. It's actually made out of clay and watercolor. But yeah, it's really cute and I really need to find a place to hang it in my room. I also wanted to show you guys this. It is a bunch of really cute and pastel fabric. By the way, don't mind the background noise. I'm filming in my living room. What do you expect? But anyways, my mom had the good idea that we could finally make a quilt because I've been asking about that for a while. But yeah.
I also got one Harry Potter item for Christmas this year. It is an adorable waiting for my letter from Hogwarts. You can tell it is very shiny. And it has a Hogwarts crest in the middle and a bunch of Hogwarts letters around the shirt. Also in that same box, there was a pair of um, stretchy jeans, which again will be perfect for next year at school if I don't have a uniform. The next item is this adorable pair of boots. I have a pair of black boots, a pair of gray boots, and a pair of tan boots, but the black boots I'm outgrowing um, because, well, I have them in elementary school, which is a little bit scary. So yeah, those are really fluffy and really cute. The last non-stocking stuffer items I'm going to be showing you guys are these adorable sketchbooks. I was wanting something a little smaller to sketch in because my drawing isn't very big at all. And then also this set of 120 colored pencils and this is like really heavy. I'm sure these will be awesome quality and I'm really excited to test them all out. Now I'm just going to be panning over my stocking stuffers because I don't want to use all of this space on my phone, especially because I have to post a Christmas special. That's all I have to show you guys today. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and have a Merry Christmas. Bye!